For the black-faced spoonbill, breeding is the most crucial matter of the year. On this small crowded isle with scarce resources, building one's own home is definitely not easy. The struggles for space and resources are a daily occurrence around here. This spoonbill has set out to locate a spot for a nest, but stumbled into the herring gull's turf. The proprietor is greatly offended by the intrusion and lets out threatening calls. Embarrassed by the innocent mistake, the spoonbill is displeased. It has to defend its honor. The racket on the cliff drew the attention of another herring gull, eager to lend a hand. It soon came over and joined forces against the spoonbill. Outnumbered by its opposites, the spoonbill backs off from the confrontation. At Shingrentu Isle, withered grass and branches are especially valuable to black-faced spoonbills, but their oddly shaped beaks made it extremely difficult to carry even a single twig. After some relentless efforts, this spoonbill couple has laid the groundwork for their nest. Now they're ready for the hatching. Taking turns sitting on the eggs, the resting bird will not sit idle. It uses the spare hours to bring in more building materials to make the nest more substantial. Today, it's the mom's turn to hatch. This has left an opening for others to plunder the branches. A pair of strangers are approaching blatantly toward the nest. After the estrus period, the birds start to gather branches. Not surprisingly, Bonnie and Clyde ignore the mom's warnings and pick up the branches as if it belonged to them. The spoonbill mom has had enough. She gets up and defends her nest, but is finally overwhelmed by its opponents. Shortly after that, dad returns to the nest. Seeing the disturbed surroundings, it realizes what has happened. The pair console each other. They have gotten used to the constant struggles for resources. They might feel a bit frustrated, but they will not give up. They're confident that the Isle never shortchanges any of its hardworking residents.